Oh, I got a call to, um, well, it's a Bristol compressor on um, a condensing unit made by Fabdeck, the milk tank manufacturers, which have put in new, um, probably four months ago or something like that, might be a bit longer. Um, so a second air milk tank, new, new compressor, new condensing unit. And it was tripping the um, breaker out, but it was RCD and a breaker all in one. Uh, and I found, it looks like the start cap's blown up. There's all this oil and, I don't know if you can see that in there, all the, all the wire, this is coming in. Drips and liquid and stuff, I think. That's just blown up. Anyway, that wouldn't cause the earth chip to go out. But, well, 500 volts. You can usually test twice the supply voltage. So if you're on 250 volt, you put it on 500. Maybe if you have 400 volts, you know, 415, you might go on 1000. But, you know, you have to be careful if there's any electronics on there because it will fry it. Um, anyway, that's reversed onto the earth lug on the compressor. That's on one of the uh, terminals. And hit the test button. Hmm. It's not very good, is it? The windings check out funny, funny resistances as well. They don't uh, add up like they should do. It's a single phase compressor, obviously. Um, on ohms, at 1.6 for SEM2. Three point something on there, three point three on there, so one point six, three point three. And then this was two something, yeah, so yes, to me two and a half. So I don't like. Um it should add up because basically you've got one winding like that, another winding like that. That's one connection, that's your other connection, and that's that one. So if this is two ohms and that was three ohms, you should have to Two ohms across there, three ohms across there, and five across them two. So they should always add up. So that doesn't do that. So that is another indication that the motor's gone gone to the big compressor graveyard. Oh, and that, all that, if you can see it on there, all that looks like rain. That's actually um, stuff that's come out of one of these capacitors. So uh, it's new compressor time. A shame. So all these milk's hot and it's a Friday afternoon, well Friday evening now, probably about 7 o'clock on Friday, so I expect the whole zone to be shut till Monday morning. So we'll have to be chucking this milk away until probably Tuesday. Unless uh, we can get a compressor out of the people over the weekend. So I'll have to go and make a phone call I think. I thought just for um, interest we'd test the um, capacitors with a little meter. Um, pull one of the wires off. You only need to pull one of the wires off when you test them. So it makes it easier to remember where they go back. So there's two on there. Well, the meter will think, oh, think about it for a bit. That's say nanofarad, so it's thinking about it. Here we go, 43. 42.9 microfarads and it's a 40. So that's a 40 plus or minus 6%, so what's 10%? For so it's sort of upper edge of what it should be, but that's not gonna not gonna be very good. Um, so that's that one. Um, that's that one. So 145 to 175.
let's say an 89, 88, so it's not... Well, I suppose it's half, half of what it should be. But then you don't know what it was doing when it had power to it, it might have... Well, you can see it's vented there yet, or oh, can't if I'm pointing the camera in the right place. It's poked, it's blown a little hole out of that vent, so... Yeah, that's definitely died.